start with the power abuse scandal that's inflamed public anger here in Korea. The woman at the heart of the allegations, Che Sun Shil, has broken her silence for the first time and apologized for editing President Park and Hay's speeches. She's admitted to receiving reports from the nation's top office via email around the time her long term friend, pa President Park, was elected but denied most other claims. Our Kim Mok Yun has more on Che's response to the scandal that's dealt a devastating blow to the president. In an exclusive interview with local newspapers Hegeilbo on Wednesday, Choi soon shil confirmed that she'd received and edited dozens of presidential speeches despite holding no official post in the Park administration. Choi was interviewed in Germany where she's staying now with her daughter. She reportedly sobbed throughout the interview saying that she's so exhausted she could kill herself. She claimed she did not know the speeches passed to her during the early stages of the administration were confidential and that she did it to help President Park express her feelings more clearly. She apologized to the public for causing chaos in society and said sorry to President Park, claiming she only helped because of her loyalty and faithfulness to her friend. While she also admitted that she did receive reports from the presidential office right after President Park was elected, she denied allegations that such reporting from the top office continued to this day. Over claims that she received reports through a tablet PC, she said she doesn't own one, adding that she doesn't even know how to use such a device. She demanded a further investigation to look into how the device was acquired in the first place. Che also denied all allegations that she had meddled in appointing key government officials to interfere in state affairs. Regarding the corruption scandal surrounding cultural foundations Mir and K-Sports Foundations, she said she never received money from the foundations and that this could immediately be proven through an audit. Kim Mogyan, Arirang News.